Now has erupted between the residents of Kisumu and the county government of Kisumu over the planned construction of the Koru Soin Dam. The residents decry that they have not been involved in the deliberations towards construction of the multi-purpose water reservoir. The project uh, has been under construction since 1992 and was supposed to, among other things, control flooding in Lower, Lower Nyando. And here now is Kevin Ogutu, who visited visited Koru area of Kisumu and filed the following report. River Nyando flows leisurely downstream, oblivious of the fact that its waters, which form a natural boundary between Kisumu and Kericho counties, is under contention and the lands that surround it too. 240 families are said to be displaced to create room for the creation of the 93 million cubic meters capacity dam that will serve residents of Kericho and Kisumu counties. This was a multi-purpose uh, dam that was supposed to have been constructed way back by the national government. And um, the objectives were, one, was to control floods in the lower plains of Nyando. Uh, two, it was to provide domestic water for our county, uh, starting from uh, Moroni, all the way to Kisumu. During the rainy season, River Nyando waters have been the cause of floods downstream, affecting most parts of Nyando sub-county of Kisumu. This April was no exception, and as it has been the case, the leadership was quick to point to the construction of Korusoin Dam as the long-term solution to the floods. My idea is that we have to deal with the River Nyando. Uh, uh, and secondly, the dam that was being planned in Kuru, I think that dam should, should, be, should be built. Uh, damming the river Nyando upstream will help because it will reduce the amount of water going downstream. But the people on the upper side have different ideas on where the solution to the perennial flooding downstream really lies. The flood in Kado has been desilted. But all the canals which were blocked were desilted by the, by the Horn Jack Renguma, the former governor. While the county is keen on having the dam constructed, the environment is volatile, with the residents claiming their grievances have not been heard. The National Water Group have not even up to now given us uh, the list of the plots affected up to now. They have not given the plots affected. The, the, actual water. Uh, the National Water They have not given the plots affected. The area affected, the map, uh, they say they have downsized it three times. We have not even seen the first size yet, second, third size. But there's no any map to tell us, to show us, or, or beaconing, to show us this is where they have reached, this is where we have reduced it, this is where it, 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 it has ended. And there's no name of the port until now. This is supported by the area member of parliament, Onyango Koyo, who says while the idea is noble, it will not yield much if the local populace is not consulted widely. We are very receptive to the Koru Soin Dam. So long as it can be discussed bottom up, not up bottom. So long as the, my, my voters can be engaged, they are assured that uh, if you are removed, if you are going to be uh, removed, this is your compensation. And then they agree. <laughs> Mr. Orimba is however optimistic that the struggle to have the dam in place an idea that was first mooted in 1992 will be realized in due course. We are moving down very fast so that we bring in the project implementers so that by the come September we will have resolved the issues which were contested. The construction of Korusoin Dam remains a thorny issue with the residents claiming that they've not been consulted by the respective counties. But the meeting called by the county government of Kisumu for Friday could be the beginning of a consensus and an end to the push and pull that has been there for years now. Kevin Ogutu, KTN News, Kisumu.